hi guys welcome back to my channel samirazi fashion youtube channel thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos so today we are making a simple dress it has side gathers and um, it's going to have a small plenty as a sleeve so we are going to make this together so i want you to sit back and watch this video to the end don't forget to click the subscribe button under my video to subscribe you can share this video with your friends so watch this video to the end welcome back we are making a dress so this is the material that we are using and that is the back side of it that i'm folding out now so we want to start with our measurement so i'm doing the length now so the length we are using for the half length now first is 25 so and it's a short dress so this is the marking now that i'm doing now starting from the shoulder and it will have a gathers that we have side gathers and we also have a small sleeve that will plant so that is it so that is the next side that i'm marking so after marking the length you mark the half length so that is the half length that i'm marking also to get our half length and remember the half length is where the measurement of the waist will start so that is the measurement now and that is the length of the side we want to use for the half length of the gown that we are making now so now we are doing the body measurement that is the bust when marking you divide it by two and add your allowance so that is the allowance that i've added there and also that is the waist so if the waist is 26 you divide it by 24 and mark and add your allowance so i'm adding two two inch of allowance on it so that it will balance well so that will not shorten the body measurement so because if, if there's no allowance that means you have spoiled the style or the material of the glue that we are making now so now this is this downside of it that is the you now divide it and share it if it's the hip is 40 what will you do you do uh, you remove from the hip side and add maybe 37 so that is the connection of the body measurement that we've done now so after doing it, the next step is just for you to cut out so i'm just showing you how it will be so that is the arm o that we have gotten there the arm o side so after doing that that's done and we are cutting now so that is the next side that i'm cutting and you slope it yeah that is the sloping side that is the shoulder side because the shoulder need to be sloped so this is the arm o now that we are also cutting out now that is the arm o and you cut the body side so that is the body side that I'm trying to cut. I'm just trying to cut the arm o very well so that it will be nice. So it's just the scissors that I'm using to cut it. So this is the body side now. So that is it. So after cutting it, you just lay it to the back side of it. There's no need of making doing any measurement of the back. You lay it at the back and also add your zip allowance on it. So that is it. So we're done with the back side. So this is the we're done with the front. So this is the back. So I'm laying it on the back of the side that we want to make now. And remember to remove your allowance on it. So that is the allowance of the zip, but it will have a zip. And remember, it is side gather that we are making this time around. So remember that. So that is it. That is the neck. And this dress that we are making now will not have a lining on it. What I will do, I will use the fabric also to cut the facing. So we will use the fabric to cut the facing to make it neat for the next side. So that is the back and that is the arm O. So after doing that, the next step now is for us to cut the facing. So I'm just explaining everything for you to see how it will go on this dress that we are making the dress with gathers and the gathers will be at the side of this dress that we are making so that is it so i'm cutting 
need now for us to start with our gathers after doing the cutting now. So we're done with the cutting. So the zip side now that you now open that is the back side of the zip. So I'm, that is what I'm doing also now. I'm opening it now. So that is it. So remember to subscribe, tell it to your friends, and comment also. So this is it. That is the material that we are doing now with gathers. Gathers side is what we are making now. So this is the front. This is the back. I'm opening it for you. So this is the front of the fabric. Can you see how beautiful the material is? The other side that you just see that it's white is the back side of it. So now this is the facing that I'm talking about. So it's the front side now of the facing that I'm cutting. So I'm cutting it now. That is the neck to the shoulder. So we're done with it. That is the arm side to cut it out. So the facing is done from the back side of it now. So can you see how it looks like? So we'll now go to the next thing and stitch. So that is the front of the facing. So this is the back side of it so that I want to cut out like the facing side of the neck. So that is it. So can you see the facing, the fabric? So is the neck side that now that I'm trying to cut out. Can you see how it is now? If you want to make your uh, facing, this is how you do it. When you are not using lining to lining it out. So this is the side, the neck, just to show you how it looks. So what next? is for you to go and stitch it, iron it, and it will look good. So this is the material I want to use to gather it. Because I said it's, it's gathered. The length side is 10. So what you just do, you just go to your machine and go and stitch. So this is the finishing side of the neck that we have gone to the machine and uh, stitch. And I've ironed it out. So that is the front side of it. I'm showing you now. So this is the back side of it too. That the back neck of the dress that we are making. So you can see how neat it is now. So this is the journey side. So now we want to join the front and the back. And when joining it, what will you do? You divide it into two, not into four this time around, into two. So if the bus is 34, so what will you do? You divide it by two and it will give you your measurement and you connect so that's what i'm doing there as you can see so this is the bus side and this is the waist side of it joining it you use two to times it not into four to times it or to divide it so that is what we are doing there now so after adding it you remember your allowance everything should be there also so what you do you connect from the bus to the waist you connect from the bus to the waist you connect that's what i'm doing there now from the waist now to the hip, you connect so that the hip line that I'm marking there now. So you divide it into two, not into four, remember? And you add, remember to add your allowance also. So you come to the hem line and take it down. So that's what I've done there now. So that is the hem line that you now also divide by two and you shape it out. So I've said before, if it's 40, you divide it. And you get 37 so not into four so that is the that is the gather side of it because we are going to the machine and stitch and we are gathering it so that is the gather side uh, gather material that we are using now after doing that just for us to go and stitch it and put it at the side so this is it. i'm showing you how it will look like so this is the side of it that i'm slanting it out so can you see how it came out very beautiful Remember to watch my video, comment. See you in my next video. Thank you.